Kieran McGuiver here with Boxing Vans and I'm here in the Europa Hotel and I'm here with Connor Kerr after a win on Mark Dunlop Promotions card. Um, Connor, uh, first time I've seen you, um, Box, obviously you've had your debut over the water now. Um, how did you feel you got on tonight? Good mate, yeah, I'm happy with the performance. Um, um, yeah, I started, I started well, uh, just kept the pace up the whole way through, which was the plan. Yeah. I was either get six rounds or get him out of there. It was one of the <laughs> I was doing six rounds at a high pace or else he was giving up. Like if he didn't make it, he didn't make it. But I was keeping the pace high the whole time anyway. Yeah. That was the plan. So Your first hometown fight, am I right? No, I uh, fought in the Girdwood October. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah that yeah. was my second pro fight. That's yeah. the third one. So Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you are someone who with a with a great amateur pedigree, um and someone when you're turning over like a lot of boys got ro- roles because um, in your weight class, there's only a few at domestic level, but then the jump up to European level is quite quick for you, which is great, like, because, like, Conor Quinn, you can go through the levels very quickly. And what was it that made you want to turn pro, like? Well, I, I always wanted to, like, when I first started, obviously I just started as a hobby, because I started quite late. I started when I was 16. So I started just as a hobby, really. Try. <laughs> yeah, right. And then, obviously, the more you get into it, then, but we started taking it serious, and I always knew that that was what I wanted to go pro like, mm. you know. So, yeah, that kind of went. Obviously, the route you go, novice, senior, elite, you know. Mm. But I moved pretty quick, so, mm. you know, learning as I went up. You know, sometimes like I went in, say I had what 15 fights, and boys little hundreds, and they were beating some. Getting pipped at the post sometimes. Yeah. You know, and then it's just learning on the yeah. job, wasn't it, at that stage? Because I went straight senior, so I never. But yeah, done well. Had plenty of fights and won plenty and done well out of it. Boxing the elites and yeah. So I always wanted to go pro and then obviously COVID put a dent in that. And then I was out for an injury after me and Jude were in the league final to go to for the Commonwealth Games. Mm. He got the nod in a 3 2 split. And then shoulder, I was out for a year and a half, so mm. finally got going when I was 27, so yeah. still young, still good to go. I started late, so yeah. plenty of years left in me. <laughs> uh, how's the relationship with uh, Ian Gawker, your manager, and Dan Anderson is your coach? Yeah, great. I like Ian. Dan obviously like this up at the start. Um, <coughs> Axel, but, you know, it's great. It works well. Me, Dan, and Ian. I've knew Dan, obviously, before new Ian. Uh, Dan... Box for Monkstown as well, you know, towards the end of his amateur career. Mm-hmm. That's right, boxed for the end of mine as well. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, so I've, I knew Dan before as well, like, and then obviously he started, he was always set, like, I was just no exact coach, and then started his own. So, yeah, it's great, works well. So, around your weight class, you have like Rudy Farrell fought uh, Jared Hughes. I know you're close in a way, not all these are the exact same way, but you're all close around that way. Um, he, what is the plan Ian has put to you like who would you would you like to fight someone for a Celtic title or an Irish title or something like that like, I would like a, a Celtic or Irish title next if I could get it just but that's up to them to do isn't it but I would fight it next in eight rounder yeah <laughs> <laughs> get yourself something lot. Sean Kelly Moon and us uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I would take so you've it had a six rounder there so you're eligible for the Celtic title yeah, yeah I'd fight with next yeah yeah, yeah. Um, Jared or Rudy, no, no particular. Don't care, either or. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. One even, even though, even though you and Rudy in the same same I manager. Don't care. <laughs> like I, I've no issues with well, you know, obviously, like they don't mind either two of them, good lads. But they're there, they want to fight. Just give me that belt, happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's no hard feeling. It's like you get in punch out of the and they'll say, "Well, top man, that's yeah, it." Yeah. Just not good for Ian. <laughs> not good for Ian. No, no. Um, look, Connor, really appreciate that. I won't hold you much longer because I know you want to watch Colin Murphy. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks.